Fast Hacks once again, and I'm here to do a Blu-ray 4K review on Man of Steel. I'm not going to talk about the movie because everyone knows about the movie pretty much, but I was, I will say this, I'm a little disappointed by the 4K transfer. I have very high expectations for 4K, and I think Zack Snyder added a lot of grain in this movie, even from the Blu-ray release. He had a, lot of, a hell of a lot of grain, artificial grain. And that makes the picture very soft. There is, in terms of detail, there is an improvement over the Blu-ray. I mean, the colour looks phenomenal. But I'm getting tired of these. Everyone keeps saying, you know, HDR this, HDR that. And yes, HDR is pretty amazing, right? But forget HDR for a sec. It should look a lot better in 4K anyway. Now, people are going to talk about distances from the TV and all that. That's the TV right there. Do you know what I mean? So, it's 665 inch. Bad boy. Yeah, so, I noticed the difference with or without HDR on the Revenant. Yeah, the Revenant is still the go-to. I feel that with or without HDR, you should be able to notice a difference. That being said, yeah, it's grainy. It's a little soft. It is an uptick in visual quality, but not much. If you had someone walk in the room with you, Whilst you're watching this, they may be hard pressed to tell a difference. There is a difference, but you're not gonna watch it and say, oh wow, oh wow. Uh, I will say this though, actually saying that, I will say this, I will say this. Now that I think about it, I will say this. The Krypton scenes look much better actually, yeah? Color, detail, what have you. The Krypton scenes definitely look better. And there are places where it looks good. It's nowhere near as good as a Batman vs Superman release in 4K. I, like I say, and I think I'm always going to say this, I think that the, if you've got a 4K TV, the Blu-ray 4K is going to be the best version of this bitch. Do you know what I mean? So you might as well uh, get, it, get it in 4K. This one is absolutely not going to blow you away in terms of visual quality. Something stand out, the HDR and stuff, you know, the, his... his S emblem and stuff, it shimmers very nice, you know, there's more detail in the suit, there is more detail in parts, but it's not like night and day, not at all, not at all. But I actually fucking loved The Man of Steel as a movie, and even then, I'm not going to go back to the original Blu-ray, it's pointless, because this is the best, 4K will always be the best version of a movie you can see, provided you've got the right kind of TV. And the HDR kind of does take it over the edge. In terms of colour, the colour is always going to be better on a 4K uh, Blu-ray. It is, right? The colour gamut and all sorts, right? So that being said, it's going to be the best version you can get in any case. That's pretty much all I have to say about it. Now look, if you like these kind of reviews and stuff, I, I talk about a bunch of different stuff. I'm going to talk about dating, I'm going to talk about relationships, I'm going to talk about funny stories. I'm going to talk about random shit, which I pretty much have done already. I'm going to do unboxings, reviews, um, reactions, a bit of everything. So if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. And I'm going to sure, do my best to keep you guys entertained in this bitch. Alright guys, take care. <laughs>